Hello, it's Tim Lawman, Concordia's President and Vice-Chancellor, here on April the 1st, 2020. And to give you my Wednesday update, I'm choosing to do it by video this week. I thought I'd change things up a little bit. Well, I'm clearly at my home office, and uh, as classes end, uh, I want to thank you all for bearing with us. And I'd also like to thank you all for staying off campus. Um, our campus is open, but it's really important that people uh, stay home. There's really no uh, need to come to campus. Uh, almost all of our services can be accessed remotely, library services, student services, those uh, sorts of things. So please stay home. We have uh, just a uh, small number of staff there required to keep the uh, campus from caving in on itself. Uh, and thank you to those people, but um, uh, students, faculty, uh, and other staff should be pleased uh, working at home and studying at home. Uh, now, as far as technical support goes, um, if uh, you need technical support, if you are struggling with hardware or with uh, access uh, uh, to con connectivity at home, um, please let our IT uh, department know. They can uh, possibly help you out. And their email is helpdesk at concordia.ab.ca. That's helpdesk at concordia.ab.ca. Now, our final assessments are starting soon and they're going to look uh, different uh, to how they would ordinarily look uh, and different classes are going to be doing things differently. So please connect with your instructor if you have uh, any challenges with respect to the final assessment. Um, we're going to endeavor to be as flexible as we possibly can while also maintaining the integrity uh, of our courses and of our uh, grading system and existing policies. Uh, those who are expecting to convocate, as you know, as I mentioned in my update last week, uh, convocation is being postponed. Um, we don't know um, when we'll be uh, having our convocation. We're still working that out, but we will be having a face-to-face -face conv convocation. And I can promise you it will be special and it will be uh, worth the wait. So uh, apologies for having to cancel, but under the circumstances, we really are left with no other options. Uh, our spring and summer courses, of course, are going online entirely. So if you are registered in spring and summer, spring and summer courses, you can ex expect online delivery for the entire spring and summer sessions that we run. Um, we're involved in some scenario planning for the fall. Um, we don't know what it's going to look like. We don't know if there are still going to be restrictions on gathering and if we're still going to be able to have people in classrooms. But we're examining uh, three different scenarios. Uh, the most hopeful scenario is that we're all back on campus face to face uh, and that classes will resume in the same way that uh, they always have at Concordia. Uh, the second uh, scenario that we're preparing for is one that we one where we would start uh, on online, uh, start by distance and then throughout the semester transition to face to face, kind of the reverse of what we did this semester. Uh, of course, safety is the first uh, priority uh, there that would signal when we could go face to face. And the final option would be to deliver entirely online for the fall semester. We're also looking at that and we're also planning a contingency for that if we have to do it. Uh, that involves also helping our faculty and sessional instructors to become more familiar with online learning and to construct courses that are really robust and are of very high quality uh, because that's what our students expect and that's what we expect of ourselves uh, here at Concordia. Now I'll um, just re remind everyone that for those students who are experiencing any any difficulties this semester it's a very anxious time can be a, uh, a very um, a frightening time for some of us. You can uh, access supports uh, through our student life and learning team they are professionals and they can help you. The number to reach them on is 780-479 9241 or you can email studentlife at concordia.ab.ca and as always the best place to go for COVID-19 updates is our website um, which you can find by just going to the main Concordia webpage and clicking through the the top uh, red banner there on the on the on that page. Now, as I've said previously, our adaptation to these ever-changing circumstances has been really impressive, and it continues to be. And Concordia University of Edmonton, or Canada's pre-eminent small university, is, in my opinion, showing our nation how a cohesive community of learners responds to adversity and continues to succeed. 
and even thrive in an environment that constantly changes. So thank you all for continuing to advance uh, our institution and in fact your own education at Concordia in the midst of this great complexity, this great anxiety and this great change that we've all been facing. So thanks for watching this week's Wednesday update and I'll be back in touch soon.